Hello friends, I'm Maria aka Sita from Sita's Budgeting Journey. On my channel, I'll be budgeting my monthly income using the cash envelope system and fund savings challenges. I'll also be sharing some faith-based content and of course some tips on how we can prioritize our self-care. So if any of this interests you, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss any uploads. For those of you who are returning, Thank you so much. I appreciate all your support. Guys, I am back. I have missed you all so much. But when I tell you this time away was truly needed. So just to, to fill you guys in, I know I had said that I was only going to be gone for seven days. And I was doing a spiritual fast. And that's exactly what my intentions were. But as I moved along with my fast i opted to do a 10-day fast well guys let me tell you on the 10th day the devil was busy so much happened on day nine and day 10 that i truly thought i was going to lose my mind but instead i prayed on it and you know i i spoke to god how i you know been doing the last nine ten days and i realized that you know what the devil's a liar and he is not going to stop me or keep me from getting to where i wanted to be so i opted to do a 21 day fast guys i was doing the daniel fast and let me tell you god revealed himself to me in so many ways so many prayers were answered but the one lesson that i learned is to be patient that was the first lesson and secondly I learned that when we have problems or obstacles or, you know, trials and tribulations that stand before us, one of the things we have to do is give our worries, our problems, our concerns to God, but then we have to let go. Because if we hand it over to God, we are trusting and believing that he's going to handle things for us and that things are going to be okay. And that's where that's where your girl here is like always messing up. I say I give my worries and problems to God, but then I'm stressing, worrying, having anxiety, panic attacks. So that is the one thing that I took away from this fast, guys. And even during the stressful moments, I just kind of shrugged it off and I said, it's okay. God hears my prayers and things are going to be okay. So my 21 day fast ended yesterday, guys. I feel rejuvenated. I feel blessed, refreshed. Again, it is truly something I needed. And I am so happy to be back. I missed you guys. This is not going to be a long video. I just wanted to catch you up, number one, on where I've been and what I've been doing. So as you can see, my binders are here. There's no money. <laughs> I mean, there's money in the binders, but there's no money. I think I have money to stuff my month ahead binder and maybe my mini savings challenges i'll have to check but i have been putting money away i did do my christmas binder i did do my savings i believe i did my cash envelopes so i have been stuffing i just have not been on youtube i have been watching faith-based content i have been reading my bible but during these three weeks i did not go on instagram TikTok. Facebook. I actually deleted all the apps from my phone. I have not re you know, installed them. And guys, if any of you send me messages, I do apologize. I um, will be going through those in the next couple of days. I miss watching your videos, so I will be watching all your videos soon. And I have some happy mail. I received some lovely happy mail and I'm expecting another package. That was something that I ordered. So in the next week or so i won't be posting as much because again i'm still even though my fast has ended i want to gradually go go back to doing the things that i was doing another thing that i'm going to do guys is i'm not going to be posting every day i'm also not going to be on youtube all the time i was i'm guilty of being on there all day every day <laughs> so i won't be doing that because again i'm going to change my priorities a little bit i've i've ask and pray to God that he helped me manage my time better. And so I'm going to come up with maybe a posting schedule, maybe three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, maybe um, every other day, really concentrate on a few hours of um, 
watching your videos and commenting on them again i miss watching your videos guys i'm sorry if you guys feel like i neglected you um you know i'm back so i think that's it for today again i was going to keep it pretty short i will be updating my august calendar i haven't done that yet i know it's like the fifth today but i will be doing that and what else my mini savings challenges and my month ahead. I'll be doing that within the next week or so, guys. So bear with me. I'm just happy to be back. I hope you guys have been blessed during these past three weeks. I have prayed for you all. If there's anybody, again, that has a prayer request, guys, send it to me. You know, leave me a message here or on my Instagram. It's also Sita's Budgeting Journey. And I will gladly add you to my prayer list take care everybody it's monday have a beautiful week and we will be chatting soon